Good evening, Kenton community. My name is Sabatino Samato. I'm your superintendent, and this is your weekly connection update. A quick overview of the connection. First, we have the update from the superintendent. Then we get into our safety tips for families. We go over to our school and district highlights. We finish off with our recognition. Let's get going and get a little bit deeper. First, in my update, we focus on the Future Ready Project Showcase, and what a great opportunity this past Thursday, February 29th, a group of teachers demonstrated innovative projects as part of the second annual Kenton School District Future Ready Project Showcase. And folks, this is a partnership uh, between us and the Tonawanda City School District. There's 11 total teachers that really uh, used a lot of time to research new innovative ways to engage students in learning in the classroom, led by our own Ann Martell. This $1.1 million grant spread out over several years really provided some unique opportunities. Check that section out on the Future Ready Project Showcase. Then we move into uh, a, a wonderful group of people and organization in our very own community here in Kenton, the Kenton Meals on Wheels. I had the privilege, and I really think it's a distinct privilege, to be able to work with them uh, yesterday in delivering meals to our community. And it just really um, reiterates how special and how wonderful our entire community is. I encourage everyone in our community to do anything that they can to volunteer around the community. These people are some of the best volunteers I've ever seen, led by Miss Jessica Nowak. I, I had the privilege to spend the time with all these volunteers, including Miss Jetter, Mr. Wiles, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Scott, just tremendous people giving up their time to make sure that we work together as one Kenton community. Check out that section, Meals on Wheels, a tremendous, tremendous dedicated group in Kenton. And then we move on to celebrating Women's History Month. And this week we are celebrating Miss Sarah Lovejoy and her story of why an area in Buffalo is called the Lovejoy District, focusing on back in the early 1800s during the uh, Battle of Buffalo and what Mrs. Lovejoy's contribution was during that time. Check out that section in celebrating women's history. We go into our safety tips for families, and we're focusing on car seats this week in the safety tips for families. Folks, I have two children that are now uh, pretty well grown uh, on their way to having families someday of their own, but this section really reminded me and taught me some new things about car seat safety that I know um, I wish I would have had when, when they were younger. So check out that section. School and district highlights. Lindbergh students and staff come together to support PE teacher Kelly Strong. Board of Education visits Hoover Middle School. Kenmore East students take part in prestigious Carnegie Hall Honors Performance Series. Hoover and Franklin Middle compete in second annual volleyball tournament. District celebrates three second grade students born on Leap Day. Edison students enjoy fun activities before school. Schools celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. FBI specialist visits high schools to speak about internet safety. And that brings us to our recognition this week. And folks, I had the honor of attending both of these events, of seeing our unified bowling kiddos in action. A very special thank you. Uh, to those teams just doing a tremendous job this year. A story in there led by their wonderful coaches. Really check out that story in the recognition. And our second recognition goes to Miss Ania Mungo, one of our Kenmore West High School seniors. And Ania was the Section 6 champion in the 300 meters back on February 17th. She made it all the way to States making us Kenton proud. Check out her story there. And that brings us to the end of the connection. And folks, believe it or not, it is already Friday, March 8th. And we cannot believe it. it uh, March is going by quickly. We've been spoiled with a good winner. I'm not trying to jinx it. But as I said before, before you know it, we're going to be at our spring recess. 
We um, really have a lot that is going to happen very quickly in the district. Let's make sure that we keep our eye on the prize because together that makes us Kenton proud. Together we will be Kenton strong and together we'll keep on moving our Kenton community forward. Thank you very much and have a wonderful, safe weekend.